Well, good morning and a very warm welcome to our family service for the Church of Stangrand and Facet on the 6th of September. I hope you've all had at least some summer holiday and children, I hope you are excited about going back to school if you are. For all of us, it's lovely to come together and to sing, to hear God's word and to share together. As usual, in this family service, you'll see several families contributing in various places and great thanks to them. So now let's worship together. In Christ alone my hope is found He is my light, my strength, my song this cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace, when fears are stilled, when striving cease. My comforter, my all in all, here in the love of Christ I stand In Christ alone Who took on flesh The fullness of God in helpless play This gift of love and righteousness Scorned by the ones He came to save Till on that cross, as Jesus died, the wrath of God was satisfied. For every sin on Him was laid. Here in the death of Christ I live. from scattered lives to meet with God. Let us recognize His presence with us. As God's people, as we, we have gathered, let us worship Him together. Loving God, Loving God we come to worship you. Help us to worship you in faith to sing your praises with gratitude 
and to listen to your word with eagerness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. As we come to worship God, let us prepare our hearts and minds as we pray together. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires know, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. For Christ our Lord. Amen. God, our Father, we are sorry for the times when we have used your gift carelessly and acted ungratefully. Hear our prayer and in your mercy. Forgive, forgive us and, and help us. us. We enjoy the fruits of the harvest, but sometimes forget that you have given them to us. Father, in your mercy. Forgive, forgive us and help us. us. We belong to a people who are fed and satisfied by ignore the cry of hunger. Father, in your mercy. Forgive, forgive us and help us. We are full for us and do not care enough for the world you have made. Father, in your mercy, forgive us and help us. We store up goods for ourselves al alone as if there were no God. Father, in your mercy, forgive, forgive us and help us. And now may the love of God bring us back to himself. Forgive us all our sins and assure us of his eternal love. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now the collect or special prayer for today. Almighty God, who called your church to bear witness that you were in Christ reconciling the world to yourself, help us to proclaim the good news of your love, that all who hear it may be drawn to you through him who was lifted on the cross and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God, and He holds us in His hands. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God, and He holds us in His hands. He's higher than a skyscraper. God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. 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 Hello Amelia, this is my boat. Hello Scott, I like your boat. I think I'd keep it going and look more better. 
Oh no, sorry, I broke the old bone. No, it's okay, Amelia. Thank you. Hi! Hey. What do you want to do today? Do you want to go to the park? Oh, uh, okay, sure, yeah! Wait! It's raining outside! What should we do? Go in the rain! No! We can't go in the rain, we'll get cold! <laughs> okay, bye! The reading today is taken from Romans 13, verses 8 to the end. Don't run up debts except for the huge debt of love you owe each other. When you love others, you complete what the law has been all along. The law code finally adds up to this. Love other people as well as you do yourself. You can't go wrong when you love others. When you add up everything in the law code, the sum total is love. But make sure that you don't get so absorbed and exhausted in taking care of all your day-by-day -day obligations that you lose track of the time and doze off, oblivious to God. The night is about over. Dawn is about to break. Be up and awake and to what God is doing. God is putting the finishing touches on the salvation work he began when he fir we first believed. Get out of bed and get dressed. Don't loiter and linger, waiting until the very last minute. Dress yourself in Christ and be up and about. This is the word of the Lord. Well, I wonder what clothes you're wearing this morning. And I wonder how long it took you to choose what you were going to wear this morning. Every day we have a decision to make about how we get dressed and what we're going to wear. Though if we wear a uniform of any kind, then it's a bit easier, isn't it? For myself, most days I wear clergy clothes. And for children going to school, you know on Monday to Friday what you're likely to have to wear. In the school holidays, we've had a bit more choice, haven't we? Really dependent on the weather. I know certain days what we've really needed is waterproofs, wellingtons and an umbrella. Other days have been like swimming pool weather and it's been really hot and lovely. So a lot of our decisions about clothes are dependent on what's around us. Well in this morning's reading, if you're listening, you'll find that we were asked by the writer of this letter, it's written by St Paul, to get dressed in Christ. Perhaps that sounds a bit odd. But it's not really, because what he's Randy trying to remind us to do is that when we get up in the morning, we need to think about what we wear. But also we need to think about love. We need to think about being dressed in love. The Christian faith really is primarily about love. And Jesus Christ came to earth to show us just how much God loves us. God had already created the world and all the beautiful things in it, plants and trees, the animals of all kinds and fishes, oceans and land, night and day, and also created all of us. But God saw that if, if people were really to really, really understand just how much he loves them, he needed to show them. And so he sent his son to show the depth of his love and the extent of his forgiveness for us all. So Jesus showed his friends and his disciples how we should love one another. He cared for his friends and family, but he also cared for everyone he met. He particularly cared for people who were poor, or who were poorly. He cared for people who were in trouble in any way. He showed a way of life 
It was about forgiveness and love. Love for everyone, not just people that were his friends or he particularly liked. And he showed us that every single person is really, really important and valuable, valuable to God. That even when we make mistakes or struggle to forgive others, we're still loved by God more than we can possibly imagine. And of course, Jesus showed us how to really forgive each other. We all need forgiving for all sorts of things, just as you saw in that sketch with Scorch the Puppet and his friends. We get things wrong or have arguments and fall out with people all the time. But Jesus came to show us ways to forgive. And all Jesus really asks us to do is to love God and love each other. And ourselves, of course, we must always love ourselves. But loving God, loving ourselves and loving each other is what being a Christian is really about. And what we come to church to celebrate, God's love and God's forgiveness. And as God loves us so much, we are to love God and to love each other. That Bible reading this morning wants us, wants to help us really by reminding us that when we get up and get dressed in the morning, the first thing we need to think about is God. And we should dress ourselves in the love of God. If we think about how to love God and love others as soon as we get up in the morning, as soon as we get dressed, we'll go out remembering that loving people is really important. So tomorrow and every day, try and remember that whatever clothes you choose and decide to wear, remember also to wear love and help make the world a kinder and happier and more forgiving place. So let's pray together. Father God, we thank you for Jesus who came into this world to help us know just how much you love us. Help us to get dressed every morning in love and forgiveness and help us become more and more like Jesus. Amen. We join together to declare our faith in God. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts by faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Merciful Father, during this family service, we pray for our Church of England family, for Her Majesty the Queen, the head of our church, and for all the clergy supporting us spiritually in these difficult times. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all the families of Stanground and St. Mary's Benefice. They all have been through a lot in the last months of lockdown caused by the pandemic. Families who worship in our churches have to face different challenges as the future may bring uncertainty on so many levels for so many of us. We ask you, God, to give us strength and courage to bravely face whatever life has in store for us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. This time of the year, children, pupils and students return to schools. They have been amazing while being homeschooled by their dedicated parents and guardians. However, young people may feel a bit anxious as they are back on track onto their path of learning. Please, God, guide them and guide the teachers who will need to learn how to apply the new regulations to make schools again the safe places of learning such interesting and enriching things. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. New season also brings hope and new beginnings. Some of us might wish to build on the experiences of self-isolation and start something new in order to introduce a change for the better in their lives, to help themselves, their families and to support others around them. As their commitment might bring obstacles to overcome, we pray that they do not lose the goal from their side and that, they, that with your help, dear God, they will persevere. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We think about all the members of our congregation who are poorly, ill or have health issues. May their suffering ease, their recovery progress 
and may we ultimately return to health. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We keep in our thoughts and prayers our loved ones, people close to us, our friends and acquaintances who have recently died, as our lives will not be the same without them. May they rest in peace and may their families and find solace in remembering their remarkable lives. Merciful Father, accept these prayers in the name of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father <coughs> in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done. On earth as in heaven, mm. give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver, deliver us from evil. For Ask the kingdom. For the kingdom. The power <laughs> and the glory are yours. Amen. Amen. Now forever. Amen. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship his whole. Sin like never before, oh my soul, I worship your holy name. The sun comes up, it's a new day dawning, it's time to sing your song again.
now may the love of the Lord Jesus draw you to himself. May the power of the Lord Jesus strengthen you in his service. And may the joy of the Lord Jesus fill your hearts. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, Son and Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you and all those you love this day and always. Amen. And now let us all go in peace and love to serve the Lord. And I hope you all have a lovely week and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Goodbye.